Dear Sages 2020 attendees, uh, my name is Priya Ramanesh. I'm a minimally invasive surgery fellow at the University of Texas Health Science Center at Houston, Texas. It's a great pleasure and honor for me to uh, present during this Bariatric Abstracts virtual session uh, our study entitled Comparison of Outcomes Between Primary and Revisional Robotically Assisted Laparoscopic Rule and Wide Gastric Bypass, a multicenter analysis of 10 year experience. I have no disclosures. Rouen-Y gastric bypass is currently the most commonly performed robotically assisted bariatric procedure in the US. Robotic gastric bypass has been shown to be at least as safe and effective as uh, the traditional laparoscopic Rouen-Y gastric bypass, with leak rates as low as 0.3%, as shown in a large survey by Wilson et al. in 2008. On the other hand, laparoscopic revisional bariatric surgery has higher complication rates than primary surgery, with leak rates ranging from 4.5 to 8.3% according to the studies. Some reports have, however, suggested lower complication rates after a robotically assisted revisional bariatric surgery. Uh, these reports include a study by Snyder et al. in 2013 and a study by Books et al. in 2014. The objective of our study was to compare outcomes of primary versus revisional robotically assisted laparoscopic and white gastric bypass into high volume centers. Our hypothesis was that primary and revisional robotic gastric bypass would have similar outcomes in this setting. To this purpose, we uh, performed a retrospective analysis of a prospective database containing the data of all patients who underwent um, robotically assisted when y gastric bypass in uh, two high volume centers, namely University of Texas Health Science Center in Houston, Texas, and Tower Health Reading Hospital in Reading, Pennsylvania. Inclusion criteria were patients undergoing primary robotically assisted when y gastric bypass. These patients formed the primary group. We also included patients undergoing uh, robotically assisted conversion uh, to Rouen Y gastric bypass from another bariatric surgery. Patients undergoing a revision of an existing uh, Rouen Y gastric bypass. And patients undergoing uh, conversion uh, from an anti reflux procedure to Rouen Y gastric bypass. These patients formed the revisional group. Our primary outcome was 30 day and overall postoperative complications ranked according to the dindo cladding classification with severe complications defined by a score of um, three or above. Our secondary outcomes were length of hospital stay, 30-day readmissions, intraoperative complications, operative times, number of conversions to laparotomy, and mortality. 806 patients underwent primary robotically assisted gastric bypass and 266 patients underwent revisional um, robotically assisted gastric bypass. In terms of baseline characteristics, um, patients in the revisional group were significantly older, 50 uh, versus 45 years old. Um, they had a higher percentage of a woman they also had significantly lower uh, BMI, 41 versus 45. Patients in the revisional group also had a lower uh, prevalence of obesity-related comorbidities, with the exception of gastroesophageal reflux, which was actually more prevalent in the revisional group, with 62.4% versus 54.8%. The mean follow-up after surgery was 16.6 months for the primary group and 17.3 months for the revisional group. The percentage of patients with a follow-up of at least 12 months was 53% in the primary group and 50% in the revisional group. On this slide, you can see the breakdown of the different types of revisional surgeries. 86.4% um, uh, of the revisional procedures were conversion from another bariatric procedure, including 46.9% uh, of conversions from adjustable gastric banding, 16.5% uh, from vertical banding gastroplasty, and 14.7% from stay gastrectomy. 
9% of these procedures were a revision of uh, already existing uh, Renoir gastric bypass anatomy. Um, of note, we only included patients who underwent at least revision of one of their anastomoses. And finally, 3.8% of these uh, patients underwent conversion from an anterior reflux procedure to Renoir gastric bypass. In terms of outcomes, there was no statistically significant uh, difference between the primary and uh, original group in terms of early, severe, and overall complications. Number of readmissions within 30 days, number of interpretive complications, convergence to laparotomy, and uh, mainland hospital stay were also similar between the two groups. The only significant difference was uh, a longer uh, mean operative time in the revisional group with 203 minutes versus 154 minutes. If we look at um, the severe complications only, we can see that uh, there were two uh, gastrointestinal leaks in the primary group representing 0.2%. It was included one uh, gastrojejunal leak and one uh, staple line leak at the gastric pouch. Uh, in the revision group, there were three gastrointestinal leaks uh, representing 1.1%, and those included one gastrojejunal leak, one jejunojejunal leak, and one uh, staple line leak from the gastric remnant. Again, uh, there was no statistically significant difference between groups. The rate of gastrojejunal stricture was, however, significantly higher in the revisional group, 6.4% versus 2.7%. Uh, the rate of marginal ulcers, perforated marginal ulcers, internal hernia, and incisional hernia were uh, similar between groups. And finally, uh, there was no difference in uh, severe non-surgical complications between groups, uh, including um, heart failure and myocardial infarction rates. This study has uh, several limitations. Uh, first of all, it is a retrospective study and it does not have a randomized design. It is also subject to all the biases of a um, database or a registry-based study. Um, there was also a relatively low percentage of patients with a follow-up greater than 12 months, approximately 50%. Um, this tendency towards suboptimal uh, follow-up rates um, seems uh, to actually be confirmed by numerous other studies uh, involving the bariatric population. The strength of the study was uh, that all patient charge, charts were uh, manually reviewed to ensure completeness and accuracy of data uh, in an attempt to minimize the biases of a uh, registry or database study. Um, this study also describes the largest cohort of patients undergoing revisional Renoir gastric bypass in the literature. In conclusion, uh, patients undergoing primary and revisional uh, robotically assisted laparoscopic Renoir gastric bypass had similar rates of possibility of complications, uh, including gastrointestinal leaks. Compared to the complication rates reported in the literature after traditional laparoscopic revisional Y gastric bypass. These data suggest a potential benefit of the robotic system for a revisional bariatric surgery. Prospective and randomized data are of course required to confirm these results. Thank you very much for your attention.